this is Jana. So I'm pretty excited. There's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. I'm really happy to tell, I have a bunch of announcements, first of all. But the first thing I wanna do is say thanks so much to our brand new patrons. Check us out over on patreon.com if you're interested to learn more about how you can support this channel. And I wanna give a big shout out to three of our brand new patient patrons. First is the letter Y. You know who you are. This off episode is brought to you by the letter Y. Also, Shelly Thurston Fry, thank you so much for your support, and Sandra Boyle. You guys are awesome, and you help keep these videos coming. So check out Patreon if you're interested. I'll put the link down below. So I finished my sock head hat. I'm pretty excited about that. I look like one of the dwarves. I look like, like I don't know, Sneezy, Doc, one of them. Okay, love it. Super warm. I really like it that it's that it's long and then I so I can turn up you know I can turn up the brim if I want to like have a little extra warmth on my ears because the Wyoming wind is really cold so I like that I also like the you know kind of funky slouchy look too so happy about the sock head hat so I'll put the link for the pattern down below and this was knitted out of um, cherry tree hill DK sock I've had this in my stash for a really long time the other thing I just could not help but cast on, well, that was kind of a mistake, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> the uh, Three Color Cashmere, Cashmere Cowl by Hohi Locatelli. I'll put the link for that down below as well, as I always do. So I'm not using cashmere, but I am using Socks That Rock Heavyweight. So the pattern calls for fingering weight. I just, I had this in my stash and I really like it and it's heavier weight. Okay, so my three colors for the cowl are the gray that's at the bottom and then this kind of uh, jade color. I don't know what color you call that. And then to tie it all together, I'm going with this variegated section for the middle, you know, where uh, the one of the featured photos on the pattern is that kind of neon limey green, but I'm going with this. So that'll be my three colors for my cowl. So pretty happy about knitting a cowl. I don't know why I haven't knitted very many cowls. It seems like, you know how in a previous video I was showing my my Inara wrap and I'm all twisting it up and like I don't know what to do with it and I don't know how to arrange it. See, a cowl seems like it just eliminates all that whole problem. Like I just won't have to worry about what to do with it. You just put it on. Doesn't that seem easier? <laughs> yeah, I need low-tech simple things. Okay, that I want to talk about common mistakes that knitters make. Whether you're brand new or whether you've been knitting the same way for a long time, these are just some things that I have discovered over talking to people, um, particularly in the last year in our Pearl Together Facebook group, but just some things that I've noticed that I've caught myself doing and had to fix and like kind of, you know, figure that out for myself, or things that I've had to sleuth out what's going wrong with somebody in my group and they'll show me a photo and then it dawns on me what the problem is. So what follows is a pretty common mistake. I've run into this probably five or six times in the last year. Um, people that admitted they were doing it anyway. <laughs> so, and that's, I wanna show you how to make sure that you're knitting the right way around. Okay, so that's important. We are also going to be having a knit along coming up beginning in March. And I'll tell you more about that in just a moment. So first though, let me show you a common mistake that you wanna to try to avoid, particularly when we're gonna be knitting in the round. If you're knitting in the round, normally you would knit from right to left across the needle with the right side, meaning the knit side of your work facing you. But what I've encountered over the last several months is several brand new knitters, um, especially if they're learning off YouTube or off, um, you know, maybe an online course through a third party company, they end up knitting with, they're actually knitting inside out like this and they're knitting with the, the pearl side facing them, and then they're going across this way with all of their work between, all of their, the bulk of their work is between their body and their working yarn. So they're going across, you know, they're still knitting like this with the, the but it's all away from you. And so that can be a little confusing um, if we are following along with the video and we're talking about the front side and the back side, like in a sock where we have you're separating for heel stitches, maybe. Um, so what you need to make sure of is that your knitting is all the correct side, right side out. You're knitting from the right side of the needle across to the left, and you're going around in a clockwise way, okay? Not counterclockwise with everything inside out. Um, let me show you that on a smaller scale with a sock. Right, so this is a sock I'm working on. 
This is the Regia sock yarn. It's the Perfect by, it's designed by Arne and Carlos. The way that I knit around is from right to left. I'm going around in a counter, or sorry, I'm going around with the working yarn facing me and then my working needle is closest to me with the rest of the sock away from my body. But again, what I see some beginners do is they are knitting like this and the whole thing's turned inside out and they're still working on the same side, right? They're still going from right to left, but the inside of the yarn is facing them and they're going around in a counterclockwise way. So it's, com it's really opposite. So when we talk about reading a chart, for example, that might mess you up there. I haven't really thought that through, but it certainly could. Um, right, so I just wanna make sure that in light of our new knit along coming up, we're gonna be knitting a hat and doing some color work, and so you need to be knitting round the right way. Okay, so now that you know which is the right way round, you wanna be knitting. I just had a, remember in the 80s that, what was that song, you spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, remember that? Somebody put in the comment what the name of that song is, but I kept thinking of that song when I was doing the video. <laughs> when I, anyway, so now that you know the right way to knit around and not have your project inside out, we're gonna be doing some color work, a color work hat knit along, and the cast on for that will be March 12th. So I'll put the pattern for that down below. We voted in the Facebook group, the Patreon group, and the Ravelry group, and the winner for that was the basic Norwegian star hat. So it'll be some color work. It's not terribly difficult. I'll include some information on reading color work charts, but go check out the pattern, see what you have in your stash, and uh, watch for that cast on video coming up. Thanks so much for joining me on this chilly Tuesday.